autumn. In the vineyard, bunches of plump grapes hang from the vines. For now, these globes of concentrated hard work and sunshine are enjoying a last chance to build up their sugar reserves. It's the vineyard that preoccupies Zhang Yan Zhi. Cabernet Gurnished is grown here, a unique variety of grape that he has high expectations of. This Insightful, sensitive, and expertly trained, Zhang Yan Zhi quickly realizes that the rolling land at the foothills of the Hulan Mountains is a winemaker's dream. What's more, he has found a variety of grape that encapsulates all the mystery of the East. A lifelong lover of history, it is the Great Wall and its beacon towers in the distance, and the sound of camel bells on the Silk Road echoing in from the past that have given him the inspiration he needs to build a uniquely Chinese chateau at the foothills of the Hulan Mountains. In the twilight, this stone chateau seems imbued with the power of time and the great changes that it can bring about. It is redolent with the unique character of this Chinese chateau owner. In 2002, Zhang Yin Zhi was the only Asian admitted to France's Bordeaux Sigalen University, and he holds a French national diploma in oenology. But despite his unparalleled achievements, he seldom talks about his past. This reticence is both a mark of his modesty and his confidence that his concrete achievements speak louder than any words. Museums are where Zhang Yan Zhi spends most of his spare time. To him, museums are houses of ancient beauty and wisdom, where modern-day people can always find inspiration. Over the past few years, he's been exploring the wine culture of China and looking into ways of expressing a uniquely Chinese aesthetic in the form of wine. The rings of time build up year after year. Yet, on he goes, forever searching for the place of his dreams. Crushing season. One of the busiest times of the year. To the ears of the farmers, the sounds of grapes being picked, packaged and processed, are like a symphony being conducted at the foothills of the Hulan Mountains. Yakahapian 
，大概五百家、一千家。对，但其实我最期待的是一定要出现我们自己的中国大明王。每个人都有属于自己的一片森林，也许我们从来不曾去过，但它一直在那里，总会在那里。迷失的人迷失了，相逢的人会再相逢。At dusk, the vineyard is a forest, as far as Zhang Yanzhi is concerned. It's a place that has meant both hardship and triumph. For this living legend. 二零一七年开工建设的时候，三个月之后就要收第一个年份的葡萄。施工队的负责人说这不可能。后来我说对你来讲是不可能，对我来讲是必须可能，因为我没有退路。我说你能能不能干？他说不能干。我说那你就下课。After three months of hard work, the first truckload of grapes arrived at the chateau. What happened next is something that Zhang Yanzhi. Will never forget. 当时房子盖的是，房顶已经盖起来了，但是墙面还没有没有完全封闭。那年老天爷给我们开了很大的一个玩笑，在十月份下了两场小雪，所以我们是在车间内四处漏风的，在酿的酒，看到外边飘的那个阵阵的雪花，其实有一种，一种说自豪感也有吧，但是一种一种悲壮感也是有的啊、嗯。在贺兰山东路的话呢。其实像我这样的人其实蛮多的，在我们之前的话，已经有三十年的时间，有几一两代人已经为这个产业不断的在付出。Many people have come here with their dreams, embarking on ventures with fearlessness and determination. But as the seasons come and go, and time passes by, one thing's for sure: it's at the foothills of the Hulan Mountains that you'll find China's best wine. 就是一群人，一辈子，一件事，一瓶酒。其实这是所有葡萄酒从业者人的写照，一生的写照。China is a latecomer in winemaking. What these men are doing is innovative, creating a wine that's unique to the eastern foothills of the Hulan Mountains. That is their mission and their duty. The foothills of the Hulan Mountains. A place where men and grapes grow together, and as they do so, they're attracting attention from around the world.